nice and bright and early, ready to go. Oh, yeah. I know. Good to see you. Cool. Time to go see. Go. We're here. <laughs> we We're made hoping, it. Uh, hope we get it done. Yeah. Looks like you got some good ones this year yeah. already. It's been good. Awesome. The weather. Right. I know. We looked at the weather and we're like, oh my gosh, 40 degrees. I don't ever remember being this warm when we were here. I know. You've been shooting good ones for the how warm it is. They got a 170 laying on the table here. Yeah, that's awesome. That's a good deer. Tall. Mm hmm. And hopefully we can put one on the table this week, or two I should say. It's my first day here in Saskatchewan buck country. Glad to be back. It's kind of home away from home for both Nicole and I. Nicole's hunting with Brandon today. And we both got our brand new Matthews lift bows. We just got them like a couple days ago, sighted them in. And hopefully they'll bring us some good luck this year. But I'm excited because this spot we're hunting has a giant buck on it. One of the biggest bucks I've ever hunted up here in buck country. He's a monster. Just a big typical. And uh, he's got lots of mass. But we're in a spot that's thick. This, this whole area is super thick. And we got a muddy blind popped up at 25 yards from the hay pile. So hopefully next couple days we can get it done we got two good days of weather before it kind of gets bad again so we'll see what happens in that door. gonna do it for day one we had some action today we saw the buck our hitless buck but he just didn't give us a shot 
saw several other bucks as well. So it was a fun day in the, in the blind, but we're gonna have to come back tomorrow, see if we can get her done. But it's fun sitting out here all day. Got to spend it with my, my son. We haven't sat all day in the stand for a long time, but we've seen a lot of deer, so we'll hit her again tomorrow. All right, here we go. Day number two. It snowed a little last night and it's a lot less windy than it was yesterday. So hopefully we can get the deer on their feet. We saw our buck yesterday. We really wanted to shoot, but he didn't give us a shot. So hopefully today's our day. We're just gonna sit all day and see what happens. I'm just going to get my bow in my hand in time. It is right there. That's a 
second time. And we've had them that close. I could have probably got a shot if I could have my bow in my hand. It's just so quiet. You can't even move a muscle right now. He was putting his nose in there so he knew something was up. I just didn't want to spook him and he just walked off. Ready to go? Ready to go. Okay, good luck. I think we're gonna get him today. Thanks, bud. Well, here we go. Another day in the blind. And we're just getting settled in. We're actually in here a little bit earlier than we have been in the past, so. Yeah, today, hopefully it's a day. We got a good wind and it's nice, calm, high pressure. So, should get the deer on their feet. We'll see. I also brought the browning today, so if he comes in and he doesn't give us a shot with the bow, we're going to light him up with the browning X-Bolt 300 PRC.
my gosh. We just got that big buck. I cannot believe it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. He did not want to come in. He turned around and I'm like, it's now or never. I drilled him. Yeah. Oh, what do you think, cars? Oh my gosh, that is a stud of a buck. I just pounded him. He ain't gonna go very far. We're just gonna we're gonna settle down a little bit. And we're gonna get out and we're gonna go see if we can find blood, but I'm pretty sure I, I hit him pretty good. I think I heard him crash up there. I wanna get that thing so bad with my Matthews, but he's just too spooky. So today I brought the browning. And he turned around this time. <laughs> and he didn't walk off. I don't think he's laying very far, so let's go check him out. Oh, good feeling. Big buck down over here on the ground. Let's go check him out. He was right up in here. All he had to do was just turn and come in here. He was like, oh yeah, look at the blood. Right here where he stood. I see him. <laughs> That's a big old deer. Look at him laying there. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful sight. Look at that deer. He's getting bigger as I get closer. Oh, ho oh, oh. ho. Let me put that browning down and pick him up here. Look at those cars. Look at that deer. Oh, he's got six big typical points. Look at those brows. Chocolate horn. He's got. Starts the drop times, got stickers. Wow, what a deer. You know what? I owe a lot of people a big thanks for this deer because they made it happen. Guys at Buck Country are amazing. You know, big thanks to Rylan because he's the guy that really has passed on this deer for the last several years and not allowed his hunters to shoot him and get some age. And he's definitely five and a half, could be six and a half. And just a, a cool deer. And we got a chance to come in and hunt this deer. You know, I, I gotta thank Dean and Janda, of course, the owners of Buck Country, because this is a home away from home for Nicole and I for so many years. And shooting deer like this is, is such an honor to come up here and, and be a part of this whole thing. Now it's outdoor edge time here in Saskatchewan. Couldn't be happier. <laughs> we got him, buddy. <laughs> I can see him from here, he's freaking stud. Look at that. <laughs> he's dark too, eh? Yeah, it's just, look at that tall brow. He's got kickers starting. I know, he's got so much character. You know what, I, I said this earlier in my recovery, you're the guy that made it happen. <laughs> That's you're three the... years in the making and freaking growing him up. That's amazing. Not letting anyone hunt back here. Just freaking. You know what? I mean, it just, it's proof positive that even in the deepest northern woods, <laughs> you can still manage bucks and, and get them to a big age. That's what it's all about right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amy, you're a cool buck. <laughs> I'm just, uh... We finally caught up to this. Yeah. It, was, it was crazy because he come in and I, I wanted to get this thing so bad with a bow, but... He, uh, he definitely didn't make it easy on he, us. <laughs> yeah, he played the old game like he did the last couple days. And he came in, he kind of looked at the blind, and we got the, the muddy blind all brushed in. And he just gave it a quick glance, and then he just, like, turned around, and he was going back where he came from. And I'm like, not anymore, bud. <laughs> and I grabbed the browning and boom. <laughs> and it just, he didn't go anywhere. That's so awesome. <laughs> yes, buddy. <laughs> Thank you.
Nicole and I for so many years and shooting deer like this is such an honor to come up here and and be a part of this whole thing. <laughs> 